in honor of the backlash that Pierre Polivier has taken for shaking hands with Canadian Armed Forces veteran Jeremy McKenzie, I bring you seven times that Justin met with 2017, Justin met with former Taliban hostage and Islamic Joshua Boyle. While a captive in Afghanistan, the Taliban attended to recruit Boyle. Boyle also married the sister of convicted terrorist Omar Khadr. During Justin's disastrous trip to India in 2018, his diplomatic team invited convicted terrorist and attempted assassin Jaspal Atwell to a state dinner with representatives of the Indian government. Atwell was convicted in 1986 after attempting to murder an Indian state cabinet minister while visiting Vancouver Island. He was also arrested in 2020 for issuing death threats to a local radio host. Justin has had several meetings with anti-Semitic extremist Amin al Maoud who had been characterized as a radical activist who was inciting violence against Jews. In 2016, Justin awarded aid worker Peter Daglish with the Order of Canada, but nearly two years later, Daglish was charged with sexually assaulting two minors. And just this March, Justin met with neo-Nazi Andrew. Justin and Deputy Prime Minister Christia Freeland met with the co-founder of a far-right fascist party in Ukraine based on Hitler's Nazi party. In 2016, the very same year, former Calgary politician Terry Lowe lured and sexually assaulted a teenage girl. He was photographed with Justin at the Calgary Stampede. Finally, former Ontario Deputy Minister of Education Ben Levin was arrested over child pornography charges. He attended the Pride Parade event with Prime Minister Justin and former Premier Kathleen Wynne. Lynn, who helped craft Ontario's sex ed curriculum, was sentenced in May 2015 to three years in prison after pleading guilty to possession of child pornography, making child pornography, and counseling to commit sexual crimes.